Thank you so much, Gareth, and hello, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Thank you to Gareth Bloor and his team at the Canada-Africa Chamber of Business for bringing us all together for this great event. I am grateful for the opportunity to speak to the business leaders and government representatives who are working so hard to grow ties between Canada and Africa. Before I go any further, I would like to acknowledge that I am participating virtually from Ottawa on the traditional and unceded territory of the Algonquin and Anishinaabeg people. Over the past three days, you have had the opportunity to discuss key priorities and the actions needed for an African restart. You've talked about the importance of mobility, trade and climate change, and you've discussed why and how we should strengthen collaboration and partnerships. These discussions embody Canada's commitment to strengthen our relationship with the nations of Africa. La relation entre le Canada et l'Afrique est d'une importance cruciale pour les Canadiennes et les Canadiens, et à un moment charnière où nous continuons d'avancer vers une période post-COVID-19, il ne fait aucun doute que la pandémie continue de créer de l'incertitude et que de nombreuses entreprises, tant au Canada qu'en Afrique, continuent de faire face à des défis sur plusieurs fronts. This is why collaboration between Canada and African nations is perhaps even more essential than before. Indeed, it is crucial that we continue to foster relationships that pave the way for a successful economic future for everyone, both in Canada and in African nations. As our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said, Canada and the nations of Africa have a lot in common. Whether it's our shared dedication to democracy, advancing gender equality, or fighting climate change, the opportunities for Canada and Africa to work together are there. And the story we need to tell is this. Canada needs Africa. With Africa home to some of the fastest growing economies in the world and a young and fast growing population, the continent offers significant opportunities for Canadian companies to expand their reach internationally. Canadian businesses want to grow their exports and diversify trade relations with new and growing markets, such as Côte d'Ivoire and Kenya. This is why our Trade Commissioner Service, or TCS, currently has nine senior trade commissioners working in Sub-Saharan Africa, plus 36 locally engaged trade commissioners serving 48 markets. The TCS brings expert market knowledge, local contacts, and on-the-ground support to Canadian businesses to help them find and capitalize on international business opportunities. Canada also wants to support African nations as they grow back stronger and better in a post-COVID-19 world. We are doing this in two ways. The first is by continuing to encourage and support investment in the many dynamic economies of Africa. And the second is by supporting African nations on the pathways to sustainable and inclusive economic growth. Tout comme le Canada a besoin de l'Afrique, l'Afrique a aussi besoin du Canada. Le Canada est un partenaire de longue date du continent et l'appuie la vision de l'Union africaine d'une Afrique intégrée, prospère et pacifique. Faire affaire avec le Canada signifie que vous pouvez compter sur notre expertise, notre talent et nos pratiques d'affaires responsables. Canada also continues to support the establishment of the African Continental Free Trade Area, or AFCFTA. We do so through contributions to the African Trade Policy Centre at the UN Economic Commission for Africa. Canada believes in the potential of the AFCFTA and its ability to foster regional economic integration. With all this in mind, you can be sure that Canada will continue to build on our close partnerships with African countries, strengthening our economic relationships and deepening our people-to-people -people ties. In this spirit, we look forward to continuing to work with this chamber and its partnership. Thank you. Merci.